The Greener Pastures Community Fund supports the four children's hospitals in Ontario. We're in London at the Children's Hospital to learn more about the music therapy program and how it supports patient care. So music therapy is an evidence-based practice that uses music to help um, people with different goals related to health, development and well-being. So here at the hospital I see patients all the way from premature infants to 18 years of age and using different music-based activities to help with different goals related to their health and well-being here. Um, so Hallie was in the NICU. Um, she was born at 24 weeks and four days. She was obviously just over a pound, so just too much too young to survive on her own. So we just needed all of this equipment, facility and machines and things like that to help her breathe and, and survive. So music therapy was such a big role in Hallie's NICU stay. I remember at one point I did get a call, Hallie was at 100% oxygen and she wasn't responding to her ventilator. It was obviously a really, really hard time for us and we didn't really have anywhere else to turn. Uh, you can't go higher than 100% for oxygen. So um, Karina came in and she started humming to her. The difference in her vital signs was really incredible. I remember the nurses just not being surprised but just being so impressed with the fact that Karina was able to read all of um, Hallie's you know, body language and all of her um, stats on, on the computer and Hallie was brought from 100% oxygen to 70%. It was incredible to watch. Not that I was skeptical before, but it's, it's just hard to wrap your mind around that that can have that big of an impact on such a sick baby. And then from there, we were doing music therapy twice a week. I would always look forward to it because I wasn't able to really touch or hold Hallie. So music therapy was one way that we were able to um, kind of connect on a, a deeper level. I loved having that service available to us and I really just don't think Hallie would be um, alive if it wasn't for that because she wasn't really responding to anything else. If you think about it, people interact with music on a daily basis and several times through the day. Music is a big part of weddings, funerals, when you're working out, it's a motivator, it's a distractor. So I take those elements of music and harness them in a music therapy session. So bringing something familiar like music into this environment can help them cope and feel safe in this space. 